Hello cadets and welcome back aboard for another episode of the Striker Society where we are making space a I'm more explosive place. Place. I'm so sick of you. Okay, um, I am your innocently innocuous intergalactic intermediary and dungeon master Valeria Rodriguez and I'm joined now and forevermore by Annalisa Fisher, Delta Eagle Sorrel, Connor Fogarty, Jazz Hands <laughs> Laura Chan. If everyone's got their dice prepped yes. and their hands ready to roll, let's begin. The smell of old tomes and the glue of cracked spines fills your senses. The flipping of a page here, shutting of a book there, and quiet incantations whispered beneath focused breaths. You enter Stryker Station's vast library, a multi-tiered collection of some of the star system's most insightful books on magic. A Mirkochi girl balances a stack of books on the second floor, uh, and you all get this vision in your mind of the books spilling to the ground. An older Mirkochi woman scolds her and then projects an apologetic bow to everyone in the room. On the first level, an android transfers information from a book to their hollow tab, glancing back and forth and carving runes in midair. And approaching you is the great, big, beautiful man that I had described before. Aiden approaches and goes, hey there. Aiden's busy now, but I can help in his stead. Who are you? I'm Aiden. I look at Falden. You said this guy was cool? <laughs> I didn't know about this part. Um, are you both Aiden? I am a simulacrum of Aiden. O okay. Is that sim some... A simulacrum? Yeah. Very close, but not quite. Can I try to put my hand through him? Uh, it can't go through, but it kind of stops at the um, at the clavicle, and it's it's very cold. Your your hands stick for a second, and then like kind of peel off like ice. Gross. Are you you okay? Yeah, I'm alright. Okay. Well, it's just kind of weird. Are you like an ice statue or? Um, well, I am. I'm a magical being, and I am made of snow. So. Kind of like an, kind of like a nice statue, yeah. That's You're a snowman. Lovely. If I blow hot air on you, will you melt? Probably not. <clears throat> but, but there's a chance if it's hot enough, I might. If you drop me into magma, I'll be destroyed. I thought we came here to speak to Aiden. You said that the guy would be able to help. Aiden me. is currently astral projecting, but I can help. I am. I contain all of his knowledge and, and know-how and all of that. I'm practically him. I look again with all of them. <laughs> like, I think, I mean, if he has all of Aiden's knowledge, then we can always you, come back when Aiden is there. Did you like, want to meet the here, but. big boss himself, or is he a boss of some sorts? Well, he's, he's the head mage of the striker. I'm the head mage of the striker society. I just there's like a lot of um, uh, there's there's a lot of chaotic energy surrounding mm. me right now, mm -hmm. and I do I just like it would be smart to be put in front of someone who who knows what they're doing and not like a. An ice statue that I may accidentally I, explode. I know everything I'm doing. I have all the same information. Okay. I Zero could Zero. try to interrupt him, <laughs> but there's a chance he might be in a different plane. Right. I mean, we could always just try. If we don't like it, we can go. And okay. we can come back when Aiden's more free. Sure, yeah. I mean, it's, there's a chance that it's not going to work anyway, and the Modron was wrong. Something discomfort this. from you. Um, had a long week. Hmm. Yeah. I know what that feels like. Have you ever met a Modron? I can't say that I personally have met a Modron, though. Has Aiden ever met a Modron? I'm not sure. I don't think so, no. I okay. thought you have all of Aiden's memories and get knowledge. <laughs> oh, they've, they've been here. They've been here. here. We are You're there. Okay. Oh, I was like, oh no, did I teleport? <laughs> uh, so, I have all of Aiden's knowledge as soon as I was created. There's a chance he's since met a Modron since creating me. Well, you should tell him if he ever meets a Modron not to shake its hand. They can be a little oily. Yeah. That was what the wet was? It was oil? It didn't feel like oil. I just didn't like this song. Yeah. 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 Hmm. Anyway, uh, apparently I have magic, so uh, can you help me figure that you out? You do have magic. What? You have magic. How do you know that? I can sense it from you. Okay. 
Are you just cast and detect magic when everyone walks in the room all the time? Also, what does it feel like? Is it bad magic? No. Interesting. No. That's so vague. Very vague. All right, well, can you teach me how to use it? I, like, put my hand out like this. <laughs> Are you feeling him again? No, I'm just, like, I feel like the magic might come from my hands. Yeah, I can. Okay. Are we gonna do that out here in the open, or? No. Okay. Follow me. All right. This guy's weird. Well, I didn't know. I didn't know this Aiden. I knew I the have... other Aiden. Okay. He was really cool. He had books floating, and it's... this guy's not that cool. I can hear everything you're saying. <laughs> I don't uh... want very cool. <laughs> me too. Uh, that the, was, the issue that was with funny. the issue yeah. with having Aiden here right now is that he's currently busy uh, assisting the universe in bigger matters that if he were not assisting in might have catastrophic side effects. Well, we appreciate your time and the efforts that Aiden goes through as well. Great. And one day you'll do the same for the galaxy. Huh? <clears throat> what do you mean? Follow me. Okay. <laughs> and, uh, he leads you to one of the rooms where you had uh, cast your magic before. So... Since you've never used your magic before, maybe it should just be us, or... You're all magic users. Uh, are, yeah. you, are you a magic user? Yeah! Oh. I make magic all the time. Yeah, but you're like science magic, right? Yeah, you're but, like, you know... I could, oh, I, I do, guess grace I is the, magic. Well, yeah, I can do grace, and I can do... <laughs> I, you know, I, thought, I, I do thought, grace. He's magic. Magic. right now. I thought it was like, grace. you know, a magic or something, you know? I do not grace the library. I feel like we Says should Valeria. grease the library now. Oh, <laughs> don't, <laughs> don't grease. I can I can feel the grease spell beginning to come out of your you fingertips. Know, I didn't actually um, have that urge in character until you brought that oh. up. I and also I'm have the to urge. Rationalize it. <laughs> what kind of episode is this how turning about, into? <laughs> how about how about two people in the room at once? Okay. Um. Well, I guess Stalden knows me. Sure, you. Yeah. Um. Maybe. Maybe. Don't leave me alone. Please. I'm not. I'm not. Okay. I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> I'm. I'm not going to hurt you. If that's what you're wondering. Maybe don't smile. Okay. Um. Can, is there a window we can look through, or like? It's it's, it's a glass box. <laughs> oh, okay. It's quite literally we, all and windows. And we can. I can choose whether to make it opaque or not. Um. I could do it right now, and I cast three. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it! Yes! Yes! It splooges all over the window. Hey, listen, you you know, there's some cleaning products that get it out real good. <laughs> there's some. Not all of them. I've had I've had some issues with some of them. You know. Please don't do that again. He kind of waves his hands in the air and it listens. Oh, oh my god. Uh, I liked it. Thanks. Yeah, I thought it was good. If you want to do that again, you can do it inside of the box. I, I, okay. <laughs> oh. Maybe later. <laughs> All right. Okay. All right. All right. Okay. <laughs> God, that's just, it's, it's I think true. that's just how Valeria talks, so not slipping into, I'm like, all right, okay. So, you two then? Uh, yeah. 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 Okay. What, what do I say that isn't all right or okay to, to all the sentences that Cowabunga, are in agreement. dude. <laughs> <laughs> well, Cowabunga, come on in. I'm like, why is he so weird? I don't know. I, I'm, I'm so I can sorry. Still, I can still hear you. It's an incredibly He's high just like a pretty perception. regular guy. And you're like, yeah. What the fuck is weird? <laughs> is it, that I'm, is it dis disconcerting that I'm cold? It's disconcerting that you are not real. I'm, I'm very real. But you're a clone. Yes, I'm a clone of Aiden. So you're not the real Aiden. Do you ever have an existential crisis about your own identity and like where you came from and how you have like no memories from your past, but you wish that you did? Because I do all the time. I'm pretty much just a clone of Aiden, and Aiden and I'm pretty chill. So no, I don't. I don't. My mind is very still. Where do you go when Aiden doesn't summon you? I'm around all the time. Until I until I get destroyed. So you were summoned yesterday. You were summoned when? 
I'm not sure if I'm allowed to tell you when I was summoned. Oh. It wasn't yesterday. Vice clones and NDAs, am I right? <laughs> well, um... Okay. Should we go in, get started? Yeah, probably. We have a therapist on the ship that can help you sort through your I mental really don't need to take muck. advice from an ice statue. Thank you, though. And I walk, in. oh! <laughs> I walk into the box. I, okay. I appreciate it. Kara, Kara told us about, about the services on, on the station. All right. Okay. Uh, I walk in. <laughs> Just echoes everywhere. Um, you always hear Book's voice. You're like, wait, like, okay. Why am I missing Book right, right now? <laughs> so I'm not going to make the glass opaque so that your friends can observe is that what you wanted yeah that's fine i'm probably nothing's probably if you ever happen, change so. your mind i can make it Here. opaque yep yep <laughs> <laughs> he's a giant like claw <laughs> thumbs up. it's yeah as soon as they step in it's it's very muffled it's like almost sound almost soundproof where you just heard oh <laughs> yeah pretty much you cannot hear what they're saying <laughs> heard a birdie, heard a and then and then uh claire's gonna slap the window and then prestigitate a little like ship that kind of goes along on the outside of the glass. They're a very lively group. <laughs> yeah, they're, um, they are very creative and they always uh, are sure to take initiative, which really does get us results. <laughs> you, you describe them, you describe them very well. Thank you. I'm assuming we you're the leader. Any of this, right? no. Is it, is it two-way muffled? <laughs> Not a, no. no. Uh, we can't hear them. more of a no. uniform group. You know every squad has a leader. Are you sure that's not you? I think, you know, I'm we behind do... and going. <laughs> <laughs> we, and I'm going really earnestly. Like, and we do a lot to Yeah, and then him. he, like, kind of clocks you in the back and he goes, my, my apologies, you're not the leader. Thank you. Yeah, <laughs> of it's... Course. Um... My, that was my mistake. After all, I'm just a nice statue who doesn't think or feel. So I don't... What do I know? Nothing. I don't know anything. Um... Should I take this off? My... New clothes? My giant shawl thing that I wear? Is that going to... Inhibit anything? I don't think it should, but if you want to take it off, it makes you more comfortable, sure. Um, mm, okay. <laughs> Can you take it off? Okay. There's uh, nothing how, but just like a... scrawny are Yeah, you? I was going to say, there's nothing but just like a completely ripped, like, green t-shirt underneath, pretty much. Like, it's got these huge gashes in it. You couldn't really tell with the shawl over it how destroyed it was. But yeah, you can see, like, you can see, like, a little, a little like, a rib line and arms like twigs okay. um i don't mean to presume anything perhaps this shirt holds some sort of emotional or symbolic value to you but we do have extra clothes on the ship if you need some i really again like don't need to take advice from an ice statue thank you though could you just teach me how to use the magic noted thanks do i see because it was noted that there was a a pin of the right oh wait no i don't know and then it was continual oh, oh what no check this out no <laughs> check this out when Nyx takes their shawl off, <laughs> you notice, uh, could you describe the little pin that you wore? Yeah, so I have a pin that is usually just hidden right underneath my shawl, but it's on my green t-shirt. It's hanging on for dear life, but it will never fall off. Um, what looks like the inner mechanisms of like a, like a watch, essentially. So you see the gears and the gears are moving if you look close enough very slowly and like little wires and stuff sticking out, but it's just a pin. It's not even like actually inner workings of a clock. Right. Um, yeah, and... and... Falden's in the corner taking notes. <laughs> <laughs> Here he is. Spotted. And you were surprised Very by the little Um... Oh, actually, I actually think thing. I have a picture of it. Ooh, of the, oh. the brooch? Yeah. I sure do. Right there. Wow. Wow, suddenly we love clocks. Interesting. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting, yeah. Mm. 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 Whenever you're ready. Okay, you really you don't know anything at all. I've, I, 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 I know. You're a sorcerer. Uh, what? Hmm? Huh? Is this not public knowledge? Uh, we need to set down a basis of sorts. Are okay. you going to take my advice, or are you going to ignore me because I'm an ice statue? Uh, that depends on what the advice is. Hmm. My dad said, always beware of your enemies, but be more aware of your friends. We are neither enemies nor friends. We are acquaintances. And then I should be hyper aware of you. If that's what you want. Okay, you're a, you give me some sort of sorceress energy. 
That's cool. I didn't know that. Is that bad? Is that good? Does it matter? It is It is a neutral fact. Okay. Neutral. And it means that magic is in your blood and in your lineage. It's not something that you necessarily learn from a book. It's something that you kind of pull from the depths of who you are. Well, that's cool. So that means that your mom or your dad or your great-grandfather or wherever you come from also are sorcerers. I don't, I don't know anyone in my family. Hmm. My dad's a minotaur. Biologically impossible. I'm assuming you're adopted? Yeah. Excellent. Well, it depends on what your lineage is. Lots of sorcerers pull their lineage from dragons. Uh, some pull from all sorts of things. So we might have to get to the bottom of that. Would you have any idea where your sorcerer's energy comes from i'm gonna be honest the modron told me but um he was saying a lot of nonsense and i was the only one that i could understand him and it was very overwhelming in the moment i honestly just kind of felt like throwing up and crying and also like peeing my pants at the same Would time you give so. me one second oh yep my focus is and girl is completely still i like look out the window at Kaleida. i'm like <laughs> Kaleida's like in the window <laughs> and just like smacking Nugs. Do a fireball or something. <laughs> Do a barrel roll. <laughs> Come on. Do a kickflip. Do a flip. He raises his hand and looks off into the distance and flicks his fingers a bit. And there's like almost illusory, like a spectral type of book, like appears in front of his head. And he flips through like that, like that, stops on a page. You can't really tell what's written on the page. It like moves and warbles and he goes like that and it shuts and disappears. Okay, your magic could possibly come from the plane of Mechanus, which is where the Modrons are from. That would make sense. I haven't heard of too many people who can draw upon that energy, and they tend to be paladins or people who are far in tune with law and order. Are you a very lawful being? <laughs> no, I'm a pirate. <laughs> what's happening in there <laughs> well um, it's just an ice what, statue what, what, what's what kind the harm of, telling what you kind of, uh, what kind of pirate are you what do you mean <laughs> sea space oh, we do it all you do it all yeah and you steal from all over well I'm not very good at anything so I haven't but, okay but your buddies steal from all over like doesn't really matter where I these... wouldn't call them my buddies they're my family that's my family they're yeah. lime do, you, do you know where they are right now I'm gonna kind of wiggle my fingers I'm gonna cast a message okay <laughs> I'm panicking <laughs> I do. okay okay um, you just kind of feel like a cold like breeze go over your ear and it's just I wouldn't tell him Everything. I'm just gonna get really quiet. This is Thalden. <laughs> I'm gonna by go. The way. <laughs> and it's just this really like gonna... hiding in the most apologetic. Yeah, look. you look, just, like, but you turn and then you look down, and he's just like. I'm just like, no, I'm not looking at because I don't want to give away right, that right. I'm casting. I'm just like. I'm gonna turn back. I just look horrified. Like <laughs> <laughs> you hear. Message cast. <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Um, okay. I'm gonna relay that to Aiden later. Are you still pirating? Does it look like I'm still pirating? Is that a rhetorical question? It's quite literal. Am I on a ship currently right now with a sword in my hand? I didn't mean in this current moment. I meant in a general period of time. No, my family kicked me off the boat because I was terrible at everything. Is that what you want to hear? I have no real family. I have no fake family. I have, I don't even have the real Aiden. I just get this ice statue because nobody wants me except for I, a sweaty Modron. I am the, re I am the real Aiden. No, yeah, I'm the real Aiden. I'm made of ice. Can you just teach me how to use the magic? Okay. <laughs> now I'm behind Nick, so I'm just like, please. <laughs> <laughs> we'll um, cross that bridge when we get to it, as it were. Sure. Well, seeing as how you're a 
There's a fair amount of disdain in your eyes. <laughs> I've been through a lot. That's <clears throat> a, lot of, a lot of people on the ship have been through a lot and often don't use it as an excuse to be um, unnecessarily rude to others. I'm <laughs> just staring at okay. him. <laughs> Seeing as how you're probably, if I were to quantify you, a level one or level two type of sorcerer, you probably <laughs> wouldn't have the mental or physical access to a higher level spell. So we're going to start off with something really simple and small. Okay. What's the, What are the spells on your spell list? <laughs> you don't have my sheet? Uh. <laughs> you really want me to tell you? No, I got it. <laughs> Thank you. What God. is the energy of this? I know, the sass. He's as bad as the ice statue. <laughs> oh my oh. God. <laughs> wow. Shots fired. I'm going to give you a coin, but it's disadvantaged and you have to flip <laughs> right. it when I tell you to. <laughs> Y'all are just like, it's going great in there. <laughs> We're having fun playing with grease outside. Yeah. <laughs> like two children flopping around in the grease. Yeah. Someone's like, oh, don't, no, it's the books, little, the books, they're going to get ruined. Doing slides. <laughs> Yeah, doing the risky business slide. Yeah, and then throw a grenade at the same time. Yeah. We're yeah. like bobbling it like a hot potato. I will say the the Mirkochi woman who was on the second floor is just like projecting a stop sign into your brains. <laughs> um, that's a really cool thing. I, are you seeing a stop sign right now? That's like yeah, really weird, it's man. probably some person outside. Yeah, I, I, yeah. It's like that's... waving, and you're like, <laughs> dude, that's like really cool. I don't think I've ever experienced Hi. this before. <laughs> It, like Hi. looks directly into oh. you and like projects the image of her next to a stop sign going. <laughs> oh, it's her. I've seen those. Yeah. Yeah. That's really <laughs> cool. Infrastructure. And we'll spend really the rest cool. of the time trying to project a mental image of like, don't do this anymore. Um, <laughs> why don't you try? Why don't you pick a cantrip? Okay. Um, if it's a damage one. Are you okay? Let me know. Would you like to do a damage one or or a non damage? I'll try. I'll try a non damage one first. Sure. Um, great. <clears throat> I would like you to roll me a percentile die. Uh, I always the... get the second one wrong. This one. That's correct. Okay. Yes. I don't know where you want me to place. No. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> I rolled a sixty-three percent. Excellent. What are you casting? Um, I am just standing there with my hands like this, because that's how I think magic people use their magic. magic. Mm -hmm. And I have my eyes clamped shut, and I'm trying to picture Howard, and I just want to make an image of Howard appear. That's all that I want to do. Okay. Um, hmm. I believe... It has to, so it's it has to be an image of an object. Oh, an object. And it has it can't be it can be no larger than a five foot cube. So you could create an image of a painting or a photograph of Howard. Okay, that yeah. Okay, which one? Well, that's what I'm imagining. I'm just trying to make Howard appear. Okay, sure. So then maybe like the last thing that I had that I remember of him, probably oh, like right. an old photograph that's in the back of my journal that's like sitting sure, on sure. the floor. Yeah. Okay. Um, as you outstretch your hands and you're trying to cast the spell, um, at the end of this kind of long room, you see this little, uh, like, crinkling paper begin to form in the air, and it slowly starts to, like, weave together and begins to form this image of a little photograph, and it's it's a little fuzzy. It, it kind of tears and splits and then reforms a couple times and, and warbles, doesn't completely maintain a solid image, but there it is floating at the end of the room and you hear minor illusion cast and i'm going am i doing it yeah yeah sort I, of i open one eye like this that's Not great sort of that, it's wonderful that's a, that's a fantastic start that's a picture of howard i was thinking about him i was trying to make and him as you talk and you turn room. your head it, it <laughs> dissipates yeah <clears throat> oh dang it that's all right that was amazing nix i didn't know i could do that well, for your first time casting magic, that was quite wonderful. Huh. How do I do um, things that hurt people? We are <laughs> we have encountered dangerous missions before, so I think it is pertinent. I um, have only ever held two daggers, and I've never once landed a hit. How about we keep 
perfecting your minor, minor illusion, and then we'll move on to some of the I'm more do magical tinkering dangerous. on the glass wall because I know it's muffled and I'm just seeing them. I saw them do a Howard thing, so I'm gonna go. I'm gonna make the walls talk <laughs> with my voice. Go, Nix, Nix, this is your god. <laughs> do because a fireball. The magic cannot exit nor enter the room. It reverberates back at you, and you just hear. And I just go, is that what I sound like? <laughs> <laughs> you hear yourself on the phone. Oh, oh my just, god. I just, Nix, I. Just, Nyx, I, I I want to be Nix. I want Nix. I want to be able to do Nyx, something. Shut up. No, oh, who's rude now? I can't hear any of this. It's done. You don't hear anything. You don't see anyone. You just hear. Yeah, And the room returns. Uh, really good. I, I'm i actually very surprised. I, I throw up on the ground. Oh. oh. You hear thunk, 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 outside. <laughs> that's okay. That's okay. And he waves his hand and it disappears. Did you, did you, did you, did you cast, did you cast message at me? I, I did a while ago. Like when, you mean just now? Yeah, just now. Like, like demon demon voice in my head no like, i know very loud i i no i didn't i know my spell sounds bad but i didn't just cast it and i throw up again <laughs> oh you, see, Nix, you like, might Nix have is, food poison nix is poison casting sand. grease with their mouth <laughs> <laughs> yeah okay yeah okay. clearly clearly this was a lot for a first time casting <clears throat> magic we have. You can go back to your quarters, or we have somewhere you can lie down in the medical ward. Whatever you, whatever you want, we can take care of you. I'm just gonna. Um, I'm just. Is there a bathroom? Is there a bathroom in here there, somewhere? In the, the, not in this in room. the library. Like, is there somewhere that uh, I can there, just go? There's, the there's a bathroom right the outside the library. Yeah, I'm gonna go and run. There. I'm gonna follow after. I'm just. Gonna, it's around the over to the left. I'm just running. I'm listening. Okay. Like, you you grab see, grab yeah, see Nick's run out the door. Yeah, grab Ronak by the collar and also... I was go. gonna go. <laughs> Come back soon. Waves his hand, the door shuts. And I stop outside the bathrooms. Are the, How are the bathrooms labeled on this ship, by the way? Oh, also I cast grease on the wall the last time as I left. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, it's just it's what happened. Um, got scared and inked it. <laughs> Guys, you made me ink. Okay. Um, it's labeled by like what you need. What do you mean? So there's like pee and poo. What do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What do you mean? Yeah, yeah. What do you mean? Yeah, like pee and poo. <laughs> <laughs> what? Like toilet and urinal, you know? Oh. What? Roll Is that weird? Yeah. Uh, what what does a pee symbol look like? Yeah, what's a poo symbol? No, like this it's a little water droplet. It's like, like full toilet or like sand. All right, you know what? <laughs> no, the the bathrooms, the bathrooms. It's just they're it's, all inclusive. It's, it's just, yes, it's just, one it's just no. It is oh, it is washroom. several private stalls, okay. and they could serve every or every need. All right, that seems better. Yeah, thank you. Okay, then I just run into one. With one for just. And one for just poo. <laughs> Ronick's like, I saw those earlier. They changed them. <laughs> <laughs> I flipped them around. Yeah. So you're going into your own little private store. Yeah, I just, I'm just running okay. in. It's like, it's like you know when you go to a fancy restaurant and like the door reaches the ground, like and you go in and there's like jazz music. It's like real mm-hmm. nice, real nice. I sit on the toilet, and pants on, and just put my hand in between my legs and just I'm, I'm hyperventilating real hard right now. Uh, Kaleida oh. comes pelting in, flip flops. I assume you would have locked I'm the like, door. I'm outside. Oh, no. oh you didn't. Okay, okay. Well, Nix, you can. I mean, if it's it's open, apparently. So if you want to just, there, just go in. Oh, past. you mean the stall is open, or well, just the stall behind you? Because I would assume it's a bathroom. it's a private like one stall oh, one per stall. bathroom thing. But they didn't lock the door, no, so I if you were to okay, burst in, I, I mean, you can go door. in, and there yeah. will still be a stall within the room, and then like the little wash hand wash, like a burst in the little couch stool thing. Let you know what's going on. Like, oh, it was going fine. She was casting a spell, or they were casting a spell, and then all of a sudden they just 
kind of zoned out again, and they asked me if I'd sent them a message, and they just, when I told them I didn't, they threw up. You just hear wheezing behind the door. <laughs> Pretty, uh, oh, but you're not it's, inside, are you? No, I'm not. No, they're, because, they're oh, also, like, so soundproof yeah. as well. Oh, they're soundproof, oh. so we don't hear. The For, for your shit and farting. For your shit and farting <laughs> pleasure. Thank you. I love God this episode. It. It's very <laughs> elegant. What is oh. happening? Hey. The door. Oh. The door. No, that's kind of awesome. Emotions are that's, messy. That's the futuristic. Door. Okay, thank you. The door Disgusting. that leads into the kind of private shit suite is, <laughs> right, is soundproof. <laughs> but once you, <laughs> once you enter the room that has the sink and the little couch and then also the door to the actual lavatory that isn't soundproof so if you're standing outside the actual bathroom you cannot hear them if you're okay. within their private room yes I have a question. would you like me to keep describing the fucking bathroom on the outside of the door sure mm-hmm. to the bathroom does it say shit sweets on it? <laughs> God. i don't want to do this anymore. <laughs> Uh, Every time I'm you so open the tired. door, go, shit, sweet. <laughs> shit sweet. It's done. No, no more. <laughs> Please. Okay. Anyway, um, does this mean contribute. that we are inside <laughs> the little area with, in the couches, and then Nix is? In are the you shit inside suite? the bathroom? Yes or no? I think if if because I was under the impression that it was like a single room, but if there is a stall within the single room, yes, I think we would have gone in. All right, so but you can't hear hyperventilating behind the door because I've shut the stall. If you've shut the check, stall. Check this out. <laughs> check this Why out. Why are you so angry? <laughs> Let me ask you that. I've been antagonized. This check this out. Yeah. And I know how to not think, take things personally as a DM. This, let's pretend. I don't pretend, know if you're doing a Let's pretend. <laughs> Enough! Listen to me! Listen to me now! <laughs> Go ahead. I'm the dungeon master! <laughs> This room, <laughs> this room is the shit suite. Imagine that, imagine that, imagine that. Uh-huh. That corner right there, that's where the sinks are. This uh-huh. chair I'm sitting in, there's a little stool. That door right there is where Nyx is shitting or peeing or hyperventilating. But we don't know because it's But no, 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 <laughs> but once you are in the shit oh, okay, suite, okay. you can hear through that door. Uh-huh. Outside of this room, out there, you can't hear shit. Literally. Literally or figured yeah. Okay. Enough, enough. Okay. That's it, and we're done. <clears throat> okay, that's, so you that's, do hear my yeah, head. That's yeah, your yeah, poop yeah. joke quota for the fucking episode. Thank for you very much. Season. For the season. <laughs> that is your poop joke quota for the for season. season. Okay. okay. So you are inside, Heard. we're going to call it the bathroom. Yeah. You are inside the bathroom. It's a luxurious bathroom. Excellent. Yes. And oh, and role play. Okay. Um, n- n- Nix, <laughs> uh, is it okay if I come in? <laughs> Do you want to come and sit on the couch out here? It's um. Can you knock on the stall once for yes and two for no? I just like <laughs> okay. Um, and I'm gonna open the door and then uh, I'm gonna take my jacket and just wrap it all around Nick's and go. Okay, just breathe with me. Okay, ready? I don't know what happened. I don't know what happened. That's okay. What did what did you hear? It said it said my name. It said my name. It said it said it said Yanelli and it said it said it found me. Was it the Modrons again? No, it wasn't the Modrons. It was something so much darker uh, than that. Like scary, like like whatever's happening with that, but like twenty times scarier than that. Like I could feel it. I could feel it like in my stomach. Like it was like clawing at me. Like like all of these rips on like my shirt. Like it was happening again. Like I could feel it. What is what is after me? What is it? What is and then I like as I'm like thinking about that, I remember that image from when I like had a seizure, <laughs> like sure. went to a different plane. Um, are you speaking about when you were uh, you're you're in your cousin's body? Yes, and, yeah, 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 yeah. Sure. Okay. And I'm picturing that thing, sure. and then I throw up again. 
Um, okay, and just for a reminder, this was, oh, you wouldn't know, but f- for audience, uh, the two-headed, one yep. of them was, um, I think I said a mandrel, and the other head was uh, some sort of, like, canine skull yes. that was missing flesh. One of the arms was a tentacle, the other this uh, furred arm, and uh, with the legs of a goat, and was dragging along this large chain that ended in a hook, and one of the, or, sorry, the mandrel's head was within this cage. Mm-hmm. I remember that and then throw up again. Oh. I try to get it in the toilet, you, but I don't do know. You? I try. Well, it's crowded now. They're all in here. Oh, you just, I'm just poking. Yeah, put your head I kind of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think, um, I'm gonna say for cleanliness' sake, you're successful. Hell yeah. That's okay because I could also That's press impressive. the That's fair. Yeah. And, and clean it up. Okay. Yeah, you you just you feel it coming this time. And you aim it, and at this at this point, it's just water. Mm-hmm. Um. Kaleida's gonna like check her pockets for like a little mini stone or a marble or something, and is gonna prestigitate it because uh, I believe prestigitation can change taste, no? Mm-hmm. And I'm gonna turn it into I'm gonna make it minty flavor and just be like, hold this in your mouth. Okay, yeah, <laughs> put it in my mouth. It's hyperventilating. It's yeah, like a yeah. little pearl on my tongue. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'll say it, it helps a little bit. Yeah, um, just a tiny bit. D- Thalden, did um, Aiden Snowman notice any magic coming through? What? No, and and when we were in there, anytime I would cast a spell or anyone in there would, it, well, except f- when Aiden would like press to digitate with the notification of like press to digitation. Cast, I forgot too, but yes, it would have it would have gone press to digitation um, cast. Anytime anyone would cast a spell in there, it announced it, but whatever this was, that didn't happen. So it came from outside somehow. But magic can't possible? get through there. Right, that's weird. I tried that too. <laughs> what? What's after me? What is? Is it? Is it? Is it um? Is what? Well, I don't know. I don't. I don't what know was, what's happening. What was the name the Modron gave us? The Modron. Uh, what did he? What was his name? No, the uh of. We learned something. The. D- the demon prince. You, uh, I would say you probably, oh. Thalden probably recalls, uh, I can't Tipper? remember if it was you 2 or, uh, the Modron, but they had na- mm-hmm. uh, named one of the Chaos Princes, yeah. uh, Kilgaram, and other star systems also known as Demogorgon. The Modron talked about Kilgaram being after your people? <laughs> right? Did, I've never heard that before. I've never, did. Heard. Did I just get myself killed? Did I, did I do something? Then you're no, still here. No. It's gonna be all right. It's gonna, it's gonna kill me. It's gonna find me, and it's gonna kill me just like it did my parents. The, the chaos guy. Yeah, one of the fire. Realm? Because I used magic. All I did was the little picture of Howard and me from the ship. That's all that I did. Uh, you didn't do uh, anything wrong. Uh, you didn't do anything. We wrong. don't even know that that's what caused it. No, honestly. we don't know enough. If, if you can come out and sit down. Let's get you sorted. And then, if you can, tell us what you can remember. And the more we all know, the more we can help. The more I can do research, the more we can talk to people. Data will be helpful. It'll help us solve this problem, okay? Okay. We're going to keep you safe. I, like, don't believe him, but I come out of the bathroom anyway. Okay. (laughs) In my bones. <laughs> oh yeah, is uh, did you leave your shawl in the? I would have grabbed it. Okay, yeah. oh, thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> well, there you. Well, Not there possible. you go. Did oh, I have a question. Did my pin do anything during that whole situation? Is it supposed to? <laughs> <laughs> what a question! You're really good at your job. <laughs> oh, thank you. You're doing really good. I job. totally don't have to keep track of four separate backstories and people. <laughs> it just does what you kind of naturally do before what do you mean i'll take i'll write it down also uh okay Ron's if mom probably would have called him about this time of day and uh that didn't happen <laughs> <laughs> i'm joking <laughs> i'm joking but once a day ron like gets a call from his mom he goes ah. <laughs> sends it straight to voicemail yeah. Yeah. and the, the caller id is do not answer this <laughs> oh <my> god <laughs> oh then no. Okay. I remembered. <laughs> Let the record show. DM remembered. I mean, no, because this is just kind of something that, that happened. happened that's okay. kind of spooky, yeah. but no. it's not like... That's fair. Yeah. I was just so I am good at my job, and I did remember, and you were wrong, and I was right. 
so tastefully vindictive <laughs> and i'm always right and you're all stinky and dirty all right yeah. now it's pushing it um so no so you're okay it didn't, it didn't do anything. well i take my shawl back and I, I shuffle out of the bathroom very, um... Are you still inside the bathroom suite? Or? Yeah, I shuffle out of the okay. stall. Out of the stall, okay, cool. I'm just like, you know, like there's like Listerine, you know, usually like a like mouthwash. Are you drinking it or swirling? I'm just kind of, yeah, just taking swigs. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to go blind. Yeah. No, he's, 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 right. he's getting he's, a little drunk. Yeah. Fine. He's no, I'll be so right. fine. I'll be right. He's so fine, it's not even funny. Um, a little minty for me. Rana, I think we should use the Listerine for You want for some? Them. Yeah, yeah. Uh, sure, I'll have some. It's good, yeah. It's, okay. well, you know, it's kind little, of an acquired A little taste. sip. Okay, um, I'm going to just publicly that. say don't drink Listerine. Yeah, um, I don't know that. However, never had this uh, before. you could smell it as well. You've never, okay, sure. Well, I see Ronak drinking it. I just okay, drink it, go it. ahead. Just, just, oh. just, just swizzle. Oh. Well, and then, yeah. What? There you go. Yeah. Is that what you do? Yes. That's, it's not a flavor I drink. don't, what? In the bathroom? A flavored drink. I, yeah, why not? Is, oh, is that a cultural thing? Was I just like really? Was it a person? cultural thing? I, everyone does that. <laughs> Nick's like takes it's, a seat on a little so stool. Just <laughs> <It's just work. laughs> Has, I, I do have a question for Connor. Uh, yeah. Did Rodok molt, or are we not going to transfer your real haircut to the game? No, okay. don't don't acknowledge it. Don't look at me. I'm I think you look handsome. Yeah. <laughs> You do look handsome. Oh Ronak so molted and got new feathers. <laughs> Yay! <No. laughs> and they're beautiful. And they're I can't gorgeous. Control that. You are beautiful. All right. No matter what. <laughs> lock in. Yep. Nobody's locked in today. I'm locked in. You're locked in. I'm locked in. <clears throat> I'm, I while well, they're arguing with Lucian, I just take a little seat on the like little stool that's in the bathroom and it just. <laughs> You're dissociating. Yeah. Okay. I retreat. Well, I mean. I don't think that we should. Well, I don't know. I don't know what to do. I. And then I send a very cryptic text message. You know when like your parents text you out of the blue, "I love you." Dot dot dot, and you're like, "Hello, <laughs> did something I happen?" Love you, I love And I so I text that to Howard <laughs> and then okay. I put it away. With the dot dot dot. Yep. <laughs> like clearly something's not okay, cool. Great. Yeah. Anyway, continue. We gotta. Get out of here, honestly. Why? Because I what? drank the. Oh, because of the. Because if anything, well, yes. Also, you drank the thing, and that is weird. I will address that later. But I mean, we clearly whatever it was that sensed Nix has found them here. So we should go. So we Where? should wait and blow them up. Look at all the things that we got here. We got gizmos. We got. Do you think any of that is going to matter when a simple message can't be picked up by one of their most powerful cubes, by their most powerful sorcerer in this entire sp- I feel like space? You'd rather be here with all the toys Well, first off, he not. was a snowman. Second, where are you going to go? I think it's easier yeah. to disappear into a planet than it is to be tracked constantly on a place like this. Just get tracked there. Where though, is right? the logic in that? I, <laughs> what? It's You're saying in so the situation that just happened as far as we know without apparently we don't want to learn more nix cast a spell correct in a box that magic should not be able to get through in one of the most secure stations of the striker society which is a very large and powerful organization yes and your idea is to hop off of that and run in the woods we, what? we've been found here. They can track us here. And they can track, they track you, you elsewhere. Anywhere. If we don't use magic, they've been hiding for three years. You without... don't know that. But we also don't know that they can protect us. How, how do you know that they don't just show up and they're like, oh, we're willing to throw one person out to the wolves to, to save the greater Look, purpose or whatever? I think they'd have a little more of a harder edge if they did that, but they're all about feelings here they're not gonna do that what are you're saying they might throw nicks out so we're going to go out where it's not safe i don't know but i've heard some things about yeah, care exactly. strikers what do you remember that story about how she had some 
She wanted to go on a mission. <laughs> hey, this is a, this is a, it's a legendary thing, my dude. She wanted to go on a mission and try to save a small people and it could have affected a large few and she got lucky. No, I don't know about that shit. And okay. what you're saying is what, a rumor? It's a well-known story. Yeah, so are fairy tales. What are you talking I about? I don't. <laughs> Kaleida, I understand this is stressful. And I don't presume to know where you're coming from that's informing how you think you should address this. But can we please wait and learn a bit before we... What are we going to learn here? I mean, you we could try, the but library. There's... we have to, we have to make moves. We could learn things yes. on the go. Here are our moves, and I pull out my pistol, like, like, what? pretend to, like, okay. I'm... The pistol goes like this around Nix's face. Like... <laughs> I'm just kind of, like, waving at her. You... So far, any time I've said, potentially, we could make things better here. You say you don't know that. I ask you how you think your idea is better, and you say, I don't know. If we are planning on keeping Nyx safe, it is better for us to know that it is the safest option. Right? By the time we know, it could be too late. Okay, by the time you get off the ship, they could be waiting. You Do you want to theorize, or do you want to collect data to make the situation better? Theorizing and collecting data is the same thing in this sense. We have to do something. Okay, well, if we want to play semantics, then I'll be more specific. Do you want to throw out wild guesses and not trust a place that we're working for? And just run off because we're scared? Or do you want to stop, think, learn about what the best course of action is? And just take a fucking second, please. Please. I don't want Brodock, you were the first person to go off uncocked. And you are in the same boat as Thalden? I just got started making these. And I pull out the fuel ton grenade. Kaleida's a Ronick, little bit heartbroken about... Ronick made a good point. <laughs> Ronick said we have a lot... The Striker Society is equipped to handle large threats, should they need to. Well, that, that too, yeah. <laughs> Whose is that? I don't know. Pocket vibrating. The, the acoustics in here are yeah. crazy good. Who's calling? And we should... Papa. Pa uh, Papa... Papa... What would, you, what, would you, what would be his contact name? Howard. Papa Howard. Yeah. I answer it very quietly as they're all arguing. Hello? I, uh, I only see the inside of your ear. Oh, I pull it away. Your friends are very loud. Yeah, sorry. Hi. Are you, are you, <laughs> uh, hello? Are you doing all right? I, why'd you send that message? It's a little worrisome. Oh, no worries. There's just a demon that's out to kill me now that I know that I have magic. It's probably fine. But if I don't come back, well, I guess there was a chance I was going to die out here anyway, so I just wanted to let you know I love you. The whole room. <laughs> Are you having a laugh? No, I'm not having All a right, laugh. All right, I'm on my way. Thanks, so. I put my phone down. <laughs> Nix, I know this is really overwhelming right now, but where do you want it? What do you want to do? Where do you want to go? away well, Howard's on his way but this is a good point to bring this up Nix do you think you should tell Howard that you let Aiden's simulacrum know that they're pirates oh yeah would someone call him back yeah. and tell him not to come or he can wait for he can wait for us somewhere and we could go with him you're not gonna Go for I'm real, gonna make sure you? Howard doesn't show up at Striker Station first, and then we'll talk. All right. And I'll call. And then I lay down on the stool. <laughs> yeah. This time it's Jess's voice. Hello, are you doing all right? Hello. I'm on uh, my way. Sorry, this is this is. Uh, my name's Thalden. I'm with Nix. We're part of the same squad. Would you put him back on the phone? 
Um, they handed the phone over to me so I could let you know it. I want to make sure that you understand that Nick's let slip that you and your crew are pirates to a high authority of Oy, Nick's. a striker I'm sorry. station. And I just I, I, I want to make sure. Just to say we can never come back. Is that right? Say that one more time. We can't come back. Until we're able to sort out how they understand your occupation, I well, don't know pirates, that it's safe. That's their occupation. If, can, can can you stay outside of their I'll yeah? Uh, speaker, can, uh, who am I talking to now? Sorry, no, other other squad member. Um, can you stay outside of their zone of whatever the fuck and and just wait for us and maybe we can. If you're talking about a firing zone, they have got quite the range. I can stay near a planet. You need need me to be somewhere specific. Let's go back to Wally. At least I know Wally well. <sighs> And we were just on a mission there. That's the best place that we could go. There's order of operations that we have to go through. We have to get Benjamin cleared to take us. Yes, which is easier because we could say that we're going to continue our mission on Wale. I stay in orbit near Wale. Is that right? Yeah, for now. We'll we'll call and let you know. All right. You ever text the... No, I'm not going to bring up politics now. Who's the other one? <laughs> Our names are Thalden, um, Kaleida, and Ronick. It's a pleasure to meet you. I wish it was better circumstances. Likewise. Take care of them. Yeah. We'll try. All right. I'm trusting you. Yo. There's a scratch on their little head. I'll kill you all in cold blood. <laughs> no, I'd like to see that happen. Fair. Yeah. I'm not joking. Neither are we. All right. I... Hands up. <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> It seems like there is something supernatural happening here. Yeah, and let's just stay on the ship. What is this now? Are you guys using the bathroom? I really have to go. <laughs> Aren't there two other rooms? Also, we can't hear, right? Yeah, I, I throw, I, <laughs> <laughs> oh, you go. I throw the mouthwash out. Here. <laughs> You open the door, you throw it out. Oh, jeez! Like the spilling. Close the door back. It is not useful for us to talk about what to do when it is Nix's decision. So. I get up very slowly and I take my phone back from Valda and I put it in my pocket and I go, I'm gonna go to bed. And I walk out of the room. Um, sure, you, uh, okay, you walk out, and there's a little goblin covered in Listerine. Oh, why do you, you guys weren't even using the restroom. I take, Wait. I take my shawl, like, the bottom part of it, and I. Wait, Kalida can just. Oh, oh, oh Wait, well. Uh, Kalida. Thanks. Can you. Come over here. Yeah, what, what? Are you really, do you really want to leave? I mean, I don't, I. <laughs> They're, they have literally no reason to help us in any way or shape or form here at the Strikers. Yeah, Society. we can't. Look, we could do what we want here. Remember back at the Dracon Coalition, everything was all regimented? We've got, I don't know, join a guild. Come join the Kaboom Guild. But I can take you under my wing. To, like, to make explosives. But yeah. that's, Bronick, it really seems like all you really care about is where you can make explosives. Does it matter where your friends go? I'm trying to keep you here with me so I can keep both things. Is that such a crime? I mean, I would hope that your friends would, you would want to keep them here because of your I'm trying to keep you here. Stay here. Case closed. <laughs> I win. <laughs> Get someone to animate that ASAP. <laughs> <laughs> I'm walking with Nyx so that I can go by by our uh, quarters and I can pick up the books that I've I've had checked out for okay. me. Are you staying in the quarters after uh, dropping them off? Um, I think I'll add so like Nyx. Do you want someone here with you? I want. No, I'm good. Do you know Nyx that well? I mean, Nyx can go with her dad. I, you know, Look, whatever. I like Nyx. I like Nyx. Well, see, then Nyx should go with their dad. 
we should facilitate everything we can. Nick said that they want to leave. And honestly, probably the best place that they could go is with their dad. Because at least their dad cares about them. Well, <sighs> well wait, so are you leaving too then? What You've been flip-flopping here. <sighs> Look, Remember all the, the fun we got into at the Dracon Coalition? We've got more freedom to do that here. But the thing is, you have more freedom to do that. I yeah. don't. Cool. I'm sure you do. You know, with... Hold on. Yeah? The ambulance and the person <laughs> on their phone. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. No sponsor this time. Nova is... Busy. Dead. <laughs> okay. <No>. Um... <laughs> um... As, as you were... We, come on, we were partners in crime at the Dracon Coalition. At least, you know, it was more rigid here. Here we've got, we've got freedom. We could do things. You, got... you have freedom to do things. I have to be stowed away and safe or whatever. And honestly, so far, no one has really done that for me. I could I just... I got your back. I could just dis... I mean, I, I'll be busy sometimes, Maggie, but no, no. All right. That's exactly what I'm saying. I said the wrong thing. I'm getting the sense. It it always feels like the, the going to the whatever place that will allow you to make explosives is priority number one. And I get that. Uh, continue. <laughs> but it sometimes our paths are will diverge and as much as i want us <clears throat> to hang out together i feel like i wish that you would be able to take these things from the workshop and just do your thing with us you know you could bring those materials anywhere it's gonna take a while to get all that stuff together but uh, that's a long-term thing i mean you don't think i don't want to do that but uh, Bomi might actually teach me some things. I uh, I don't like admitting I might not be knowing everything in the field, but uh, I don't know. Well, come on. You'll find your thing here. I... My thing here, the only thing keeping me here is the rest of you guys. And I don't know if it's best for any of us to be around when whatever it is that's after Nyx shows up. Well, we can't really do it. We don't know what it is. Exactly. So, so how do we know it's the best move? Why would we be sitting ducks? Oh, there is one thing that we ducks. know. I don't, I don't. There is one thing that we know, and it's that it knows we are here. Look, I like Nix. Nix sees a lot of, and we saw. Okay, the Modrons. That thing was weird, but do we know this is really real? I think the difference is if we were in trouble, Nix would help. Nix would do whatever it was that we needed. Whether or not it included the Striker Society or not, I think Nix's loyalty is also to us. Nix is leaving. Just saying. Is I talking loud? <laughs> I'm not Maybe sure. Nix yeah, is Nick's, leaving, but you Nick's already is... always had one foot out the door. Well, now I've got one foot in the door. Things change. Uh, is the band breaking up already? God. Just, uh, maybe we pick this up at a different time. Look, at the very least, we are going on this mission regardless, right? Even yeah. if we all decided we were sticking with the Striker Society, we should go on this mission. Yeah. So, we can talk about it there. We'll talk about it there. All right. And just in case... Try to grab as much stuff from Boomy as you can. <laughs> All right. Well, you're not gonna stop with one little, no, dinkly no, little, no, 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 no. especially because we kind of like shook it a little bit. I don't know if it's like a can of soda. The moment you, you know, 
No. Pull the tab, it'll blow up. Like sludge or whatever. (laughs) Yeah, yeah, man. Are you, what are you doing? Um, yeah. Where, where have those two, have they walked, I mean, I'm assuming they haven't heard anything. Solden, you left Nyx, you you left Nyx alone for a second? We kind of like paused as we were deciding that, I think. No, you left me alone in the room. Oh, I did? Yeah. Oh, okay. Right, well. And we'll go with that. Nix, Nix wants to be alone, so you, you leave them to their devices in their room. Um, I, would you have come back and, like, let them know the situation? Um, I think, like, as I'm walking, like, just on our, like, communicators. Oh, sure. Have, you just communicate, yeah. I've got my books. I'm going to, uh, I'm going back to the library. I'm going to exchange my books for whatever I can find. That'll help with the situation. Um, I don't know where y'all are, at, but uh, if you're still at the library, I'll see you there. And I, like, I'll I keep walking. Will you communicate the Nixes at the... Oh, uh, yeah. Nix is at our quarters. Um, I might go talk to Nix, honestly, and just All kind right. of check out and see where their head's at. All right, go um, ahead. I don't, okay, go check on Thalden. Um, right. I know that he's going to be busy studying, but... Sure, I'll check on Thalden, sure. <laughs> What's I'd just rather kinda, be just kinda, blowing <laughs> things up. Just kind of huff away. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you make your way over to the room. Unlock it with your key card. Oh, I just come in without knocking? Oh, sh- you don't? <laughs> yeah. It's, it's, it's our room, room yeah. so you technically can it's, just come in. You may knock. <laughs> on the the door. codes have just been changed. Wait, are all four of us sharing a room? Yeah. Or was, yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, I still... I'm still gonna knock. Sure, go ahead. Hello? Hey, um... Uh, you mind some company? You can come in. Okay. Step inside. Right. Shut the door behind me. Okay. Um, the blinds are, or rather, the uh, the windows have all been like opaqued, so it's, it's a little dark in here. Um, I mean, how are you holding up? Best as anyone could be after finding out their entire identity is a lie, and that also there's someone is after them and wants to kill them after they already murdered my entire family could be. Do you have any idea what you want to do? No, I I don't know. I I I I don't know. Honestly, I just want to like take one step foot off Striker Station, and float into space forever. Do you think you'd be happier with Howard? I can't put Howard in that danger. I don't I don't know what this thing is. I mean it, it murdered I, I saw flashes from that night that all this happened. It murdered my entire family. It took it took out hundreds of people. I'm more maybe. I don't even know, but my crew is they're not unstoppable. They're strong, you know, they can take on some pretty big creatures, but not something that can you know put messages in my head and find me across planar existences and I don't know I can't do that to him I just can't I, that's why they kicked me off the ship was because I was a I was a hazard the second that I step back on and the entire crew finds out that a demon is after me and that they're gonna stop at nothing until they murder me and eradicate my entire species then I'm just gonna get kicked off again or they're gonna form a mutiny so no I can't I know he wants to protect me I know he wants to come get me but I can't do that to him can't so what are what are our options here because i think we're running out of time i mean do you want to see if the striker society is willing to protect you do you want to tell even tell them about it do you want i don't want to tell anyone about this i don't i shouldn't have even told my dad i don't know what i was thinking it just all happened so fast I don't think it's safe for me to be around you guys, honestly. Um, I was thinking that maybe we could just go down, like we're just going to do the mission like normal and then I can just disappear, you know? I don't... I feel like we're better together, don't you think? 
No, we can barely take down a land warden by ourselves. You think that we can take on whatever this thing is that's after us? So what, you're just going to hand yourself over to this crazy thing? I. No, I can... I... I can try to avoid it for a while. I mean, it knows where I am here. I can't stay here. I can't just sit here like and expect it to come through and kill everybody on this ship too. I need to I need to go away. I need to go far far away into like the middle of the jungle or something so that if it if and when it does find me, I'm the only I'm the only thing there. What if I didn't want to let you do that? <laughs> that would be stupid. <laughs> And I don't think you're stupid. Look, at least I know the jungle walla is my planet of origin. <laughs> Weird way to say it, but I mean, I know the, the area. We're just, it's just four of us. If we can convince them to come along with us, I think we could hide. I mean, I could teach you uh, some magic, maybe, prestigitation. <laughs> You know that it would be really risky, right? Yeah, but... I don't think that it's worth throwing this away. And this is the thing, the one thing, that since... Since I woke up on another ship holding a bag of drugs, this is the one thing that I've been sure about. What? I feel like us as a team, I think we're really growing into something. And I think that at the very least, I, I mean, you and me? You and me what? I mean, don't make me say it. <laughs> well, how do I know it's real unless you say it? I know what I feel, but I don't know what you feel. <laughs> this is moving really fast. <laughs> hey, Kaleida doesn't need to. Kaleida's Kaleida's. Kaleida's Kaleida's Oh, shit, say. dude. Whatever it is that we are feeling right now, it ends if you decide you want to go by yourself. And I don't want to let you go. I don't want to let you go either. What if they say no? I mean, I'm pretty sure they're going to say no. What do we do then? I feel like it's easier to hide two people than it is to hide four. And at the very least, maybe we can call them on our tablets, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> like, Yeah, that's true. I don't really want to I obviously don't want to leave them behind, but... Don't worry. <laughs> We're just I don't, not going to move. I, I don't want to leave him behind, but since I met him, Ronox always had one foot out the door. Like, he's... Wherever the explosions are, he's going to go. That's true. And for Thalden, I mean, I think he's... He needs this. Yeah. And I don't really want to force him to leave it all. Me neither. But there's nothing keeping me here. Me neither. Honestly, I was staying for them and you, so. So we go. We need to go to Wale like fast because I don't I don't know I don't know how long it's gonna take him to get here. Yeah, that's what I was thinking too. 
And maybe that's the best way to do it. Like, Thaldin can keep re- doing his research on this ship, and we'll just keep hopping around. And... Yeah. And maybe after a long enough time, I, I, we can just come back, and it'll be fine. Yeah. Especially if if you can't use magic. You're going to be back to your two butter knives? <laughs> I'm not very good at those, and I guess it makes sense why now. <laughs> All right. Okay. Then that's what we'll do. I really hate lying to the boys, but I think that's kind of our only choice. <laughs> Fucking Girl. chair. The shit sweet. <laughs> shit sweet. Uh, shit you sweet. breached your shit quota. Shit sweet. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was real. <laughs> that was so good. Wow. Also, dodging talking about our feelings. Yeah. Uh, no, I love that for Kaleida. Okay. It's been like two days. Yeah. It's no, not... it's been weeks. It's been mm. weeks. Mm. Mm. It's been a couple days. Yeah. Yeah. It was not uh, to be young. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, since our placement test, it's only been a couple days. Mm, that's fair. It's sure. like what a it's I don't know that it's, I don't know weeks. that it's been long enough to be like I'm in love with. Yeah. No, I don't think I'm in love with Kaleida, yeah. but I know how I, I feel. Yeah, you, well, Kaleida's a, a bombshell, so of course you feel like yeah, yeah, that you makes feel that way. Everyone <laughs> feels that way towards Kaleida. Hey, yeah. you gotta thank Sabrina for that. I was like, yeah, that's you fair, do your yeah. thing, and, and Sabrina was like, like, I'm gonna make you so hot. Yeah. Um. Okay. We're just along for the ride. Um. Are you all going to go to bed for the night for the mission? Let's do the mission. Thalden's gonna stay up as long as he needs to to be sure that he has found any scrap of information he can use. And he's gonna exchange all the books that Aiden recommended him. He's gonna note them, but he's gonna exchange all of them for anything that he thinks okay, could so be useful. In, uh, 101 insights into demonology. Mm-hmm. Um, Kilgaram, what to do if a demon is Kilgaram explained. Yeah. And also uh, just like magic that can track people. Like he wants to understand okay. how they're finding Nick's there's, uh, yeah, there's a book on, like, the gods. Mm-hmm. There's a book on the um, fireplane war as well. A uh, book on all sorts of stuff that you can look up. Um, Ronak walks past the Kaboom Guild, like, on the outside, like, uh, after hours. And it's, like, looking, like, thinking about, like, oh, can I still? I'm like, <laughs> this, like, I almost, like, do I want to be, like, on the good side of the Kaboom Guild? I'm like, I can't. <laughs> Just kind of like walk away, like right. conflicted. Um, the Falden. most you can find yeah. is uh, just that extra planar beings, gods, that sort of thing, have sometimes abilities that cannot be explained or surpass what is currently possible with uh, common magic, that kind of thing. Mm-hmm. Is is he able to find anything on magic that can like hide people's location? <laughs> <laughs> Tippy, 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 tippy. Dalton's a level two wizard going, I'm going to cast fifth level spells yeah, and yeah, it yeah. kills me, <laughs> god damn it. I'm sure there is, right? Like, something that could hide your location. Like, metagamey talk right now? or like it, Yeah, metagamey. Yeah, there's an amulet of proof against detection and location. And that's a magic item. Okay, here's what you find. Um, <laughs> <that's fine. laughs> here's what you find. Um, there uh, have been magic items and spells that have been crafted to, you know, have that sort of effect. Mm-hmm. These the spells, uh, as far as that, um, would be like far too complicated for someone of your caliber to cast. And mm-hmm. as far as the magic items, you don't have the exact location of where they would sell it. And if you try, do me, do me an internet search, please. Ooh, what kind of a check is that? I think we do a percentile. Um, I'm going to set it at you need to get 10% or below. Ooh. <laughs> 30, 33. Okay. Yeah. Magic item here. Magic item here. Like just big spam links that are like, we have your magic item. They magic magic item you're looking for. Magic items on strike make station. Your magic, magic item. item. That makes your rod uh, of fireball extra what? hot. I don't know. It just, just I don't know if you want it to be extra yeah. hot. Falden's uh, just like, who runs these servers? What the? Fire <laughs> Genasi, clearly. Yeah, okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. Falden um. will stay up as long. He's, I don't mind taking a level of exhaustion if, like, getting useful information takes that. Okay, yeah. Wood nymphs now. 
um, is another of those fan links. Uh, yeah, you do. Sh- yeah, <laughs> Striker Society allows us to check out things from the armory if we're going on a mission, right? To a certain level. I would like to check out a and pair of expense. pistols. Okay. Uh, laser. Probably. Laser pistols. Laser pistols. Just this real ass. With the fucking, <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> fucking butter knives. No, we're not. Probably be, with the they'll knives. be pretty similar to. They would be pretty similar to Ronox. Little blast, okay. uh, like dragon collision blasters, version. and you yeah. do need to like put down some money that you will get returned to you upon return of the weapon. Shit. Oh wait, no, we do have money. You do have money. Ah, well, I'm, I'm gonna do that. Okay, so that'll be. <laughs> I was like, oh, I'm poor. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> Holy Mommy shit. and daddy canceled the credit cards. No guns were that expensive. Um, <laughs> about f- forty gold would be four hundred bucks. Yeah. 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 About 40 gold each. Okay. I don't know that I have 800. I don't know. You tell me. Damn. Well. Give Nick's guns. Damn. Give yeah. Nick's guns. I don't know how much. I know, right? <laughs> Just a one main chance. <laughs> that I didn't cast. That I'm like, why are you doing that? <laughs> Chaos around me, and the Modrons are like, no, <laughs> no chaos. I know for sure that I can afford one, so I will just do the one. Buy, buy one Striker Society yep. laser pistol. One laser pistol. Um, and Ronak, do you have the range or do you have the stats for your Dragon Coalition yeah. laser pistol? It should be about the same. Oh, one D8 piercing. Damn. Oh no, no wait, that's a crossbow. Maybe oh, really. reskinned. Um, I actually have this. I sent it to you guys a while. Oh, the I think I. Stat sheet for. Yeah. The statue. We're very organized. Yeah. Here. Let's um, move on. They have okay, so they have they have a longer range than like a regular hand bow, and they've got okay. like uh, instead of the loading, they've got they've got different stats, but I, I don't think we have those currently, so I will send those to you. Okay. Well, you should send them to Nyx because Nyx is the one who's going to end up with it. Mm. Um. Okay. So, you get a gun for Nyx. Mm-hmm. You are researching all night long. Mm-hmm. You get the information you get, and you head off towards your mission in the morning. Uh, are you gonna talk to Benjamin at all? Or are you gonna hint anything? Or are you just gonna go straight there? Here's I'm the not thing. saying anything. <laughs> we might see ya later, <laughs> like longer than you yeah, think. So you two, you two definitely don't know. You two know. He straps in, heads off towards Wale. Kind of in silence for a while. So, I heard uh, a couple of things happen. Are you all right, ready to do the mission? Um, in the right headspace and all that? Wait, who? Yeah, I killed what? a guy last time. <laughs> okay. You're, you're all going to do great. I mean, after that talk on the beach we had, you had. No, you were part of it. Yeah, I saw you. You all seem like a, a great team, so I, I believe in you all, especially with your fearless leader, leader here. Um, I'm so tired. Okay, I, I'm so sorry. Tired. I'll stop t- saying that. Um, all Thank right, you, uh, we are arriving in uh, less than fifteen minutes. Please make sure you're all strapped in. Have a bit of turbulence on the way down. There's a little bit of a storm, and. Um, Whoops. Buttons, uh, you see the jungle approaching once more. That same beach you had once landed on, the uh, Seal's Joy kind of flapping in the wind, the little um, tarp mm-hmm. of sorts. Um, and uh, and you land, and here you are. All right, um, I don't know if I'm not giving not giving orders anymore, or you giving orders, or whoever you want to take orders from. Speak now. Benjamin, stay with the ship. That's in order. <laughs> uh, yes, yes, Captain. I will. I will stay with the ship as I usually do. Um, you've got your um actual proper gear now. Yep. All right. Let it flow. And uh, your um breath normalizer thing. Excellent. Great. Um, well, I will. I will see you back here. Um, unless. I guess I, I could I could drop you back at the coordinates unless you were gonna do something in the city first. I think we're good here, Benjamin. Thanks. Sure. Yeah. Um, I will be waiting here if you need me to drop you off or pick you up. You know where to find me. 
Thank Sounds you, Benjamin. Good. Leans the it. chair back. This little screen pops down. Starts playing a movie. Is, is that the sequel? It is. Should I wait to watch it? No, 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 no. You, if, if you like it enough I'll to watch it Yes, again, and I'll watch we'll, it again we'll with it. you. All right. You got it, Captain. Okay. Well, um, How are we feeling, go. everyone? Uh, well, it was a late night. Um, how are you guys feeling about doing this mission? Um, well, armed and ready as much as I can be. Yeah, I mean, you're you're kind of in, always in the thick of things, so I think you should probably take this too. And I'm gonna hand you the hard light shield we made together. Oh, you don't want to use it? I mean, I feel like you're always chomping on people and in range for that so i think maybe it'll keep you a little safer i'll you know? give it a try yeah. sure yeah. thanks pal yeah and um here's a gun that i got out from the uh oh <laughs> yes because i need this yeah we're gonna try not to cast spells or have or i mean not me i'll, I I'll cast spells idea. up to the but yeah i think two butter knives are not i'm sorry for raising my voice but maybe tonight over dinner or something we can we can talk further about what we should do uh, yeah, I'm. I'm sorry for. for I, I just differences of opinion and. Y'all just mean a lot, and I want to make sure everyone's okay. But um, I took a lot of notes. We can talk about that later today too. Um, yeah. I think. Um, yeah. Let's let's just do this thing. All right. Glad mm. to hear we're still a team. <sighs> Me too. Was there ever a question? We're out of the ship. <laughs> okay. <laughs> You're not in the scene, Benjamin. Let's Benjamin is open. <laughs> this a meta pigeon <laughs> cane comes in. Zoop. <laughs> All right. So you are heading up towards, towards the jungle. The jungle yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Sure thing. All right. Run to so the we've got a path to follow, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And um thank you, Nix, by the way, for the, mm -hmm. the ribbons. Yep. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Do you guys wanna just go first and then we'll 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 be right behind you? Yeah. You feeling alright? Yeah. Okay. We're off. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right, so what's the party composition? You guys are, you two are in front. You yeah, two we're in the taking back. point. We're gonna just cause the shield. I'm like, I'll mess with the shield. Man, <laughs> some of this. All right, you start. Uh, do you want to take the front and like push forward with your yeah. shield? Yeah. All right. You, I, I, you push forward this, with your shield squad and before. you're uh, kind of pushing all the leaves and and bushes and everything aside. I love it. Um, it's cool. It's it's a little rainy, a little stormy, so it's a little loud in the jungle. Not only obviously the rushing of the leaves and all that, uh, but the mm -hmm. animals are kind of louder and and the sound of the. <sighs> Pouring rain. Um, what are, are you guys making me stealth checks or what? Is are you it doing? is it very? How hard is it raining right now? Lightly obscured. Okay. Um, I think I'm gonna go. Oh, shit. Uh, god damn it. I I left uh my breath regulator back at the ship. I'm gonna just. We can. Nick and I are gonna go run back and get it. I'll just yeah. I'll just go with her and then we'll we'll meet up with you guys. We're we're <laughs> fast. We're fast. We're, we'll probably we're move faster. Collider. <laughs> Come on. What? I've done this shtick what with shtick? you at the Dracon Coalition. Come on. What do you mean? <sighs> what are you guys doing? We are going to get my breath I'm make regulator. An <laughs> <laughs> it's time for um, c c c contested <laughs> rolls. Sure. Why not? Nice little uh, kryptonite. I got dice. a natural one. <laughs> unless, you, unless you also roll a natural one. Um, Can Thalden join in on this? Just because everyone's acting weird, um, or is it for brevity's sake? Just Thalden's too. Okay, do Are it and I'll cut it out of them. Are we acting weird? I just said I left my yeah, breathalyzer back. It's not weird. Oh, I was just thinking about all the breathalyzer <laughs> yeah. conversation from yesterday. Is all breath you later. Yeah. <laughs> Sure. Yeah, not breathalyzer. I'm not drunk. Yeah. It's an 18 and an 11 for. Why'd you roll twice? For disadvantage, because I have. Do I have the level of exhaustion from staying up, or am I all good? Oh, you stayed up all night. 
Yes, mm-hmm. correct. That is correct. Yeah. Oh. <clears throat> Can I help you? <laughs> Come sit. <laughs> what? See how easy it is. <laughs> That's thirteen total. 13. Okay. Mm-hmm. It's twenty-one for me. Sure. Wow! Luck of the rolls. <laughs> um, they Kaleida is, and is just just needs the, uh, her breath regulator, and for safety's sake, is bringing Nix along with her. All, All right. right, I'm sorry. You know, scouts on her. Yeah, I know you wouldn't. Yeah. Do you want to meet us at? Um, do you want us to wait here or keep going forward to the to the site? Um, you guys can go on ahead. Yeah, we'll, yeah. we'll catch up. Yeah. Sure. Yeah, we got the communicator. You do, and true. you have All coordinates right. as well. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yep. All right. But be safe. Don't be a stranger now. <laughs> Just arrows in my heart, huh? <laughs> that's, that's what the boys are doing to me. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, we'll see you soon. Um. <clears throat> yeah, just let us know when you're on your way back. Yeah. Thanks. Will do. You head back to the ship. You make it on board. But your breath regulator was already attached to your suit, so what are you doing on the ship? <sighs> are we taking Benjamin hostage? We can, uh... Um... Hey, Benjamin. Oh, this part's great. Oh, you're <laughs> Yeah, correct. hey, you're sorry. Correct. Real hey. quick. Um, I think Thalden uh, wanted to talk to you about something, um, but he's waiting for you at the... Because uh, we, we decided we want to make a stop for the... Remember the popsicles? We like... At the Seal's Joy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. So, um, but he wanted to talk to you about um, something, I think, a little private. So, oh. Yeah. <laughs> I forgot. Yeah. Uh, okay. All right. <clears throat> That did he didn't mention specific details, did he? No, uh, good, good, because it's very. We have. Oh, I, I remember now. We have something very. Yeah, private I don't. On. I don't know anything about that, but he seemed happy. So, like, you know. Take yeah, it as you we. Will, yeah, you know? we just have something very private going on. That's actually none of your business. Yeah, but totally. I, but I appreciate I mean, you passing on the message. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We only came back here because we want like left some stuff here behind. So we're just gonna. Sure, sure. Um, we can lock up behind you. It's all good. Oh, you two is here. So it's. Oh, it's yeah, good. sure. Yeah. Yeah. Um, keep watch. Oh, okay, I'm gonna pop some in. Don't look at me. Oh yeah, totally. walks out. Walks off the ship. You look great. Hello. Hi, Yui. Um, you too. Oh, you too. Uh. Hello, hello, hola. So, <laughs> knowing what I know about piloting, is you two necessary for piloting this ship? It's a. It helps you, but not necessary. No. Okay. It gives you a bit of the edge. <laughs> um. Oh, God. Do I keep lying? Do I? I think for his own safety, we should kick him off board. Okay. Hey, you two. Yes. Could you do me a favor? Of course. I'm here to help. I really wanted to get a little jar of sand from the beach. Sure. I have this little vial. Do you think you could go down to the beach and put some sand in it and bring it back for me? I'd be happy to. Thank you so much. (laughs) Oh, sorry. I just grabbed it with the hand. (laughs) Here I go. Thanks, Yui. I shut the door behind him. <laughs> I'm just uh, shh, immediately start flipping buttons. <laughs> begins to power back up. Uh, wheels kind of head in. It begins to float off the ground. Wait, so where are we going? Uh, I can try to take us to... There was a... Redacted. Cabin that I know about. Redacted. Uh, uh, be- be- I'm going to be- bleep it. There, there uh, was o- a o- space... O- cottage. Bed and breakfast. Space B&B. Space Bed and Breakfast. It's like kind of a crime scene right now, but um, I don't think... crime scene? I know, I know. It's a... I don't think anyone's going to really... Be looking there? Yeah. You sure? Um, Honestly, it's pretty easy to hide out there. I mean, if a bunch of kids could honestly escape from that area... Mm. Hey, we we gotta gotta go. go. (laughs) (laughs) That... Off. Yeah. Yeah. You know, what do you think? And then cuts off. You. Oh no. 
Two on the beach. My bad. Um, <laughs> he's got the jar of sand. And as you blast off, yeah, you see the little speck of the of him growing smaller in the sand and Benjamin running. Um, so, how is the kaboom going? <laughs> <laughs> Walking along. Yeah, yeah. Awesome. However, oh. however, however, <laughs> Just as you blast up into the air, there's a sudden uh, big metallic booming sound, scraping and crunching, and it begins to spin in the air. Hello? What? And here, what? what is that? Error, I, error, error. Where is, is it coming from? I don't know. This is not normal. Right engine destroyed. From destroyed? What? You guys are check. spinning in the air. Um, I'd like you to make me a piloting check to stabilize. Um, I think it's just percep or, or my um, proficiency bonus, right? It might be, yeah. 12. Okay. Um, <laughs> Unless that includes, like, intelligence. Y- you. Oh, wait, no, I'm looking at your sheet. Why <laughs> no, that, is, that is actively Rodox. That's private. Sheet. <laughs> what the that is Rodox. Uh, what, what did you get? Into? On? Um, does that include? Uh, I believe that wasn't. Yeah, intelligence plus proficiency. Okay. Um, that would still be. That would be a thirteen. Thirteen. Yeah. Okay. Um, I will say you're still going to crash, but you can crash gracefully. Okay. With grace into the mm. sea. Into the sea. Where would you would you like to crash into the city instead? No, <laughs> or the jungle, was, perhaps. The jungle. I was hoping, yeah, the jungle, because if we crash into the ocean, we are stuck. If we crash into the jungle, we can leave. Okay. If you if you crash into the jungle, trees can like shoot through the glass. No. If you crash into the sea, you could just. We kind of are float. in. This is a spaceship. Are we in a glass no, it's made spaceship? of it's made of aluminum foil. Um, <laughs> sure. If we can do like warp sure. drives, I imagine sure, we sure, can sure. handle some trees. All right, it's fine. Be vacuum sealed. Fine. <laughs> but that also means that you know like what? Rafts you know what though? For crash landings. Oh, okay. Shit, shit that crumples easier is safer for the people inside. Mm-hmm. That's cars. That's why the That's cyber not truck. That's everything. Um, okay, you crash into the fucking jungle. Okay. Uh huh. Um, are you? Do you have your belt? Your seatbelts on? Excellent. I don't Make think me we dexterity saving too. throws. I would love to say yes, but I don't. I think with Benjamin, I don't think we had time to. I'm gonna throw my arm out uh, as we go and give you bardic inspiration. Oh, cool! Because I rolled a natural one, so that's helpful. <laughs> <laughs> Am I actually? I'm gonna say that your pin. And what? Your pin, oh, my pin begins clicking and turning. Oh, shit. What does your ability what? do? What does my what? ability do? Well, I b- bring order to chaotic situations. Sure, but say it maybe more eloquently. I just didn't know if that's what you were asking <laughs> yeah. me or not. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. For sure, for sure. Um, it's definitely in here somewhere. I will. I'm gonna give you both advantage. Okay. Oh. The Modrons are reaching their wet, wet hands no, to the universe. No. <laughs> I'm gonna roll the Kryptonite dice twice. Here we go. Okay, I rolled a 15 oh, then. Oh, got this. Oh, thank God! Thank you, Kryptonite dice. What was it? It was, it was a 19. It was 19 plus um, a lot because my dex is pretty good. Uh, oh, it was a dex save? Yes. Yeah. 23. Rolled a 15. 15. Um, I'm gonna say that you also you were gonna help anyway. Yeah. Um, but as you uh, your pin almost like opens up a bit, and the the gears and like this these little metallic strands kind of spread, and you hear this loud clicking, uh, and as the ship kind of and shakes and and gets whipped by trees and bushes and all of, all of that, you um, feel Kaleida grab onto you and you kind of plant your feet, and you feel these little hands on the small of your back. Gross. And, and um, are they oily? <laughs> yeah. And you, yeah. And you, this little like, f- like flap of wings, a wet blink, and you <laughs> feel safe and in order. Mm, uh, and gross. just a little scared. <laughs> just a little. <laughs> you, a little terrified. You hear like, you hear like, and you hear, we got you. As as you uh I'm safely scre- stand. I'm screaming. Yeah. You're screaming as a ship, and it comes to a halt, and um. Uh, this feeling disappears, but you're standing. Oh my god. Oh, uh, we gotta go. Something destroyed. 
What was the, that? I have no idea. I, the sensors aren't saying anything. We, we can you you can look out the um the window if you'd like. Oh, okay. I will look out the window. Okay. <laughs> there is this large um you've seen this before. This large spear sticking out of the engine. I've seen it before. You've seen this type of spear before. Oh, is they it usually belong to city guards or like high ranking members of of uh, ion whoever spear? keeps keeps the peace it is an ion spear fuck damn um, it but these are usually guards who protect p- people usually yeah. so were we the problem okay well we gotta go because... yeah we gotta go regardless okay. maybe hey. maybe they're mad at us for taking off without proper authorization yeah or something probably like that, which... i like grab my backpack and open the door and we just get it yeah we're just gonna get the fuck out of we're there we're just gonna fucking run yeah I grab your hand. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and we're off into the jungle. Okay. As you are running into the jungle, it's very much difficult terrain. You're stepping over vines and branches and overgrown jungle. You know, you're, you're off the beaten path. Um, again, all black. And is, is she not even you, where my you, hand You is just anymore? can't feel anything anymore. And you, you hear this like... <sighs> And you come back and you're still running through the woods I with... Probably faceplant, honestly. God damn. Oh. <laughs> and as you faceplant into the jungle, that's where we're going to pick up next session. Oh! oh! Man, it's tough. Oh my god, what it's are we going to do? Someone's just saying hi. You guys. Because you guys so... made it to the place. Yeah. You're yeah. having a sip of like... You brought a little thermos of coffee. I'm just really glad that they told us where I could find this. This is better. This is just better. <laughs> These robes are more comfy. Oh, oh Did they not so... see a ship? Like, yeah, I was going to ask that. I Do mean, hear, like, it's like thick this. overgrowth of jungle. They might have been pretty far. They probably would have heard a yeah. distant, like, very muffled, like, yeah, kind of thing. Oh, my God. Wait, but so does that mean that when you were using your ability, it was magic? That, like, instinctual... It's clockwork magic, so...